This is Nick with LogosByNick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create this very simple box icon using Inkscape and I'm going to show you how to create both versions here with the single color outline and with it colored in as well. So let's uh, minimize this and I'll get started here in Inkscape. The first thing I want to do is make sure that the view is set to custom. Then I'm going to zoom in at one to one and then I'll open up the align and distribute menu with this button here and we're going to want last selected chosen from this drop down and then I'll open up the edit objects colors gradients and stroke menu so the first thing I'm going to do is draw a polygon so let's come over to the squares uh, the stars and polygons tool and we'll want polygon regular polygon we we'll want that selected we're going to want to have six corners and rounded and randomized both set to zero and then we can come over to the canvas and hold control and shift and click and drag to create a polygon we're going to want the corners going vertically like that that's pretty good We'll go to the select tool and let's bring the opacity of this down in half. And what I'm going to do now is duplicate this by holding control and pressing D on the keyboard and that's going to create another copy of it. And I'll make that red. And I'm going to come up here to this little icon that says snap to cusp nodes. I'm going to turn that on and I'm going to leave that on for the entire tutorial. Then I'm going to take this red copy and I'm going to snap these corners up there so it's sitting like this. Then I'll take this black polygon, I'll, hold, uh, I'll hit Control D to duplicate it, and hold Shift and click on the red polygon and go to Path Intersection. So we have the beginning of the box here. This is going to make the, uh, the inside of the box, which is right here. What I have to create next are these little flaps here on the side. So in order to create that, let's click on the original black polygon and I'll hit Control D to duplicate that and turn that green. And I'll take this corner right here, this bottom right corner, and I'm going to bring it over here and snap it onto that lower middle corner of the red polygon, of the red uh, shape like that. And then I'm going to duplicate this again. I'll hit Control D to duplicate that, and I'll turn that one blue. And then I'll take this bottom corner right here, and I'm just going to snap it onto this bottom left corner over there so we have it positioned like that. And then hold Shift and click on the other green polygon and go to Path Difference. And then I'm going to click on this red shape. I'll hit Control D to duplicate that. Then hold Shift, click on the green shape, and go to Path Difference. And then Path Break Apart. Hold Shift, click on this green shape so it deselects it. And we only have this selected now. And with that selected, we could press Delete on the keyboard to get rid of that. So we have this, we have this bottom flap right here all set but the only difference now is uh, we gotta make this about half the size of what it currently is so let's take this green shape and we'll duplicate that by hitting control D and uh, we'll turn that blue and then hold control and grab this top right arrow and scale this up about that much and then I'll duplicate that shape by hitting control D and I'll make that one yellow and I'm just gonna snap these corners together of the blue and the yellow shape like that and then hold shift and click on the blue shapes so we have them both selected and group them together with this button right here and I'm going to take this and just move this off to the side right here and then hold shift and click on the green object and I'm going to center that on the vertical and horizontal axis and then click off of it to deselect everything so let's click on just this blue and yellow grouping right here and we'll ungroup that and then hold shift and click on the blue shape to deselect it and with the yellow shape still selected we'll just press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that and we'll click on the green shape hold shift click on the blue shape and go to path intersection so we now have that flap at half the size of what it previously was so what we could do now is we could duplicate this just hit control D and we'll flip this vertically flip selected objects vertically with that button right there and we'll take this and snap to these corners up here and then hold shift and click on the other green shape and we'll duplicate them by hitting control D and we'll flip those horizontally by clicking this button here flip selected objects horizontally and then bring these over here and snap them onto those corners like that and then we're gonna hold shift and click on these other two green shapes so we have all four green shapes selected and we're going to unify them together by going to path union and then we're going to give them an outline so let's hold shift and click on the color black to give them an outline like that that's called the stroke we'll come over to the stroke style tab and we're going to change the width of this maybe to something like 12 see how that looks 
Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. You just hit one, two and hit enter or whatever size you think looks good. And then we'll convert that to a path by going to path, stroke to path, and then hold shift and click on the red shape and go to path union. So we have them all unified together now. So let's do the same thing to this main polygon down here. Let's click on that. We'll hold shift and let's click on the color red actually to give that a red outline. And we're gonna make this stroke style the same thickness that the other one was. So this one was 12, so we'll make this 12 as well. We'll convert that to a path by going to path, stroke to path. And now we just need to get rid of these little lines in here that are intersecting with the, uh, the flaps of the box. We could do that by clicking on the flaps of the box up here and hitting Control D to duplicate that. And then hold Shift and click on this polygon down here and go to Path Difference. And then we can go to Path Break Apart. And then hold Shift and click on this lower portion down here to deselect it. So we just have these two objects selected. And then we could press Delete on the keyboard to get rid of them. They're now gone. And the final step would be to create a little line going through the center here. So um, let's grab the uh, Bezier pen, which is over here, or you can just press B on the keyboard to grab that. And I'm going to snap the cursor under this corner down here and click, and then hold control and just bring that line straight up through here, and then click. And we can let go of control and hit enter. And again, we're going to want to make this stroke the same width that the other ones were, so this was 12. 1, 2, hit enter. Then we'll convert that to a path by going to path, stroke to path. And then we'll go back to the select tool and hold shift and click on the red box. Um, and then, yeah, yeah, we'll click on that object and go to path union and then hold shift and click on this bottom object. So we have them all selected and go to path union. And that should all be unified together as one object now Though we can bring the opacity all the way up. We can make this black or dark gray, whatever color you'd like to make it. And we now have this box created. So let's create a version with this one where it's colored in. Let's, um, we'll just duplicate this, hit Control D to duplicate that, and then hold Control on the keyboard and click and drag this off to the right. And we're going to want to break this up into little segments, so let's bring the opacity of this down in half, just so I could, just so you could see what happens when I, when I do what's next. And what's next is I'll go to Path, Break Apart, and it broke up all the negative space into its own individual objects. And if I had the opacity all the way up, you wouldn't be able to see that, but I'm going to bring it back down in half so you can see. And then we can click off of that to deselect everything. Let's click on this little object down here and then hold shift and click on the other one. Bring the opacity of that all the way up and we'll make that a shade of brown. Maybe something like that. And then we'll click on this shape and then hold shift and click on the other three shapes, those, those four flaps up there. Bring the opacity of that all the way up. Make that uh, maybe a little darker than the other brown that we used. And then click on the uh, the, uh, the main object in the background there. We'll bring the opacity of that all the way up. And we can make that a darker shade of brown like that, or maybe that. And that's pretty much it. That's how you can create a very simple uh, box icon using Inkscape. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thank you for watching.